Hey guys, it's Tech right here. In today's video, we'll be unboxing the Seagate Barracuda 4 terabyte high drive. That is right. If you guys didn't know, I got this hard drive here for myself today because I have five terabytes of storage on my computer. However, I almost ran out of all of it just to the fact of how much content creation I do for three different YouTube channels. You can assume there's a lot of stuff that gets archived. So that's why I got this here. Now, the first thing you know about this drive, it actually costs $68 if you were to actually get it on Amazon, Micro Center, and a few other places, but it's a pretty good deal for four terabytes. Now there is another version of this drive that is actually two terabytes and actually has 7,200 RPM, but it costs $65 to $50 depending on where you get it. And honestly, I just think spending another like, what is it, 12 to $17 for two more terabytes is honestly well worth it. This makes more sense in the long run. Even though the RPM is slightly slower on this one, instead of it being 7,200, it's only 5,400, but that really doesn't make a difference if you're just trying to get a hard drive for mass storage like I am here today. Now that you know all that, what we're going to do is unbox this with you guys and showcase it, then right after do a speed and write test. Okay, so we're about to start boxing this thing, but you can just see this is like kind of a general idea how the box look. There isn't really much going on for this thing. It doesn't really say anything about the specs on the outside, but that's why I cover the specs with you guys so you guys get the general idea about it. So we're actually going to open it from the top side here because the top side is where actually this little sticker is. And if you remove the sticker, you will get access to the drive in itself. So you can see you can just pull this on out and it's actually put in place by the little cushions right here so we we'll remove it now and pull out the drive you will get access to the four terabyte barracuda hard drive you also get access to a little manual which honestly we don't really compare need that or the actual like cushioning on the inside and then there's of course everything that comes with the box there's nothing else to it and then we get the actual drive that is actually in an electric wrap which with this will thing protect the drive from actually static electricity and other things so that way it doesn't damage the drive when you're actually pulling on out what i'm gonna do now is remove the wrap around it and then when we remove the wrap you will get access to the actual drive i do plan to do a video later on how to install the drive so if you want to see how to install it then i recommend you get described because that's gonna be coming out a little bit later this evening which i'm pretty excited about that and i can't wait to install this with you guys but can you see right here here's the drive in itself the front side the actual sides where actually the pins would go if you were going to place it into a slot on your computer you can see the actual pcb and stuff like that and then the sata port and also the power port because it requires two different cables the sata cable and a power cable from your power supply in order to use it and the drive isn't particularly that heavy so that's just something to keep in mind so what i'm gonna do now is install this and after i install we're gonna do a speed and write test so i just installed the four terabyte hard drive and also ran benchmarks between my four terabyte and the seagate one we just got and here are the results now you can see for the death star actual hard drive is actually a four terabyte running at 7200 rpm and comparing it to the seagate four terabyte 5400 rpm you can see the reads and writes of comparing the two is pretty good now the one thing you got to keep in mind about this is that this is a three to four year old drive that i have in my pc so that could actually be a big difference between a new drive and old drive so just something to always keep in mind but you can actually see the reads and writes are pretty good comparing the two of them now the other thing too about this is that the actual death star one i have is actually a high-end drive costing around like 115 dollars on amazon comparing the seagate which is a 68 dollar drive you were to get the four terabyte version so yeah you can see the performance it's pretty good for them i'm not gonna lie but that is everything about the seagate four terabyte hard drive if you guys do think you're gonna get it for yourself i will have a link to it down below if you do use that link that does support me which is very much appreciated and if you did find this video helpful deciding whether or not you're gonna get it then you know what to do make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed because we're going to try to get a thousand subscribers before the end of the year so you want to do me that favor that'd be very much appreciated but until then i'll see you guys for another tech video tech grant out